Hi guys, uh, this video will help you to understand the basic functionalities of Zbox CLI and Zvol CLI. I hope that you have already done the setup uh, as per the README. Uh, so I'm gonna start from the functionalities point of view. Let me show you my config. So this is my config and you can see that I'm using the one network which is our beta net and we are using it for development right now. So yeah, this is the config and uh, I don't have any wallet, nothing, just the config file. And here is my Zbox CLI and Zvolo CLI. So the first thing I will require to do is create my wallet. So let's see what are the commands we have. I can simply do zwallet help. Uh, this will help me to get all the list of the commands. And since we don't have a wallet, any command we use, uh, it will automatically detect that there is no wallet and it will try to create the wallet. So uh, creating a wallet is technically a side path. So let's start with faucet faucet is just to get some test tokens so let's say if I do Z wallet faucet and do help so it will tell me the flags required these are the global flags we are not we are technically gonna ignore them because these are by default set but if you want there is the details so with the faucet we have input we have method name we have tokens well since we are using the test network the tokens are actually hard coded as one on the backend side so it doesn't matter how many tokens you give you're always gonna get one token so let's use faucet faucet method name and method name is four yeah P O U R four uh, and input will be just a random string pay me let's do this and you see it says that no wallet in path and this is my home path which we can use to, I mean we can change using the config directory um, flag but this is the default one all this is given in readme anyway so yeah it created the wallet it created the read pool since I think let's see if you have a wallet now yes I have a wallet now you can see see here's my wallet all the wallet details are there and executed for smart contract success so let me check my balance now uh, get balance yeah balance you can always use the help command to know more details about any 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 command so dash dash help will help you so I can, can see I have a balance uh, let's try this again what does it do and if I do it again since I already have a wallet now it's not gonna create the wallet and the things again see no wallet created just the faucet exactly directly faucet and the balance should be two now and yeah I have two tokens now so that's it uh, regarding creating the wallet and your wallet is there and you have balance Cool. Uh, let's move to Zbox CLI. Well, Z Wallet CLI is for wallet operations like tokens and you know locking, unlocking. And Zbox CLI is more like you know for the uh, storage operations like uploading, downloading, CRUD operations and uh, other stuff. I mean, we can simply see the commands again with help. And as we do help, we have a list of commands, and all these commands are anyway explained in the README anyway. So you can use the README as well to see what does how to use each and every command and what does they do. So right now simply I will go with uh, new allocation since I don't have an allocation. And with allocation if you do help, well you get a lot of commands. Uh, again allocation file name, data, expire, help, lock, mctd. Uh, all of them have their own what do you say. Uh, meaning just like you know size so size simply says how what size of allocation you want by default is 2 GB uh, data parity simply means uh, number of data data blobbers and the parity blobbers default they are two you can update them expiry time by default it's 30 days 720 hours you can change it that well lock is the uh, amount of uh, tokens you want to lock in the right pool which is required I'm gonna use that in a while and the max challenge time completion by default it's one hour you can update it as per your requirement so read price range write price range yeah they are by default uh, zero to infinity so any we are gonna select any blobber doesn't matter what price range that is in so yeah I mean you can update the read price write price as per your convenience all those options are given so also we have one more thing if you see the config file we have a thing for preferred blobbers I mean right now if I just create the allocation it will give me random blobbers it will not let me choose my blobbers by my I mean on my terms that I want these the this blobber only but yeah in config we have this option so let's see how we do that we simply do uh, list blobbers list of blobbers 
So this list of blobbers will give us a list of blobbers and you can see that our blobbers are 1.310306. So let's do one thing. Just open this config file. Uncomment this, uncomment this stuff. I don't know why it's giving me this on. Okay. Okay. Looks fine. And I don't think these are the correct ones. So 305, 308, 310. And let me copy and paste. 310. So I selected four blobbers because the default parity is data is two and parity is two. So I'm going to use four blobbers for my allocation. So these are my preferred blobbers. When I can enter any URL as per my cheeks, and I can see the URL from the ls blobbers command. Not a problem there. So just saved it. Close the file. By the way, uh, you the data is looking not looking good because the terminal was not in the full. As if you do a full terminal, you will see the data like this. So much better, right? But yeah, let's restore them. So we have all this. Problem. Okay, let's insert. Let's do the. Let's see the file again. Ah, uh, not here. Yeah, the file. So we have preferred blobbers options. We will use that. And uh, if we maximize this one now. Let's try to create an allocation, new allocation lock. And as I said, we have to give some token for the right pool it's required. So since we have two tokens, let's give half of them one. This one token will go to my right pool directly and will be required when I'm gonna do upload or any right operation. So let's see, uh, yep, work, allocation created, you see? So how do I check that whether my allocation is created with the blobbers which I prefer or they're just picked by random. I will do this, get, I guess this is the one let me check yeah get the allocation info that's the shelf yeah this is the one so we are gonna use get allocation and we're gonna just use the number and it will give us the allocation info so if you see the info oh well lots of info 310 you see blob ID base URL 312 305 308 so it used the four blobbers which I specified for my allocation and if you look into the ZCN, you see an allocation file as well. So you can do simply do cat allocation. It will print you the allocation in case you forget your allocation number. Here it is. This is. So here you have your allocation. You have, uh, what do you say? Mm, tokens are locked. You got your preferred blobbers. Fine. You can also check your allocations in case you forget using list allocations. So if you do this allocations, it will simply give you the list of your allocations. Again, here my allocation with size, expiration, data, parity, price, read price. So the price, read price is 0 0.04, read price is 0 0.04. Remember we can set these using the uh, commands. I mean, the uh, what do you say, flags here. Yeah. We have the flags. Let's do an upload now. Or uh, before the upload, let's see what our, I mean, list directory. Let's use list directory command. So what do we have uh, in our uh, allocation right now? So if we do remote path, dash say by dash means root path so I'm gonna use root path and I'm gonna see what's there in my root path so if you do less you see there is nothing and by the way all these commands you can check out check out them by using help just like list just help use it anywhere it will give you the details so that's why I used allocation and remote path okay now let's do an upload so for upload you got three things first of all the local path of the file which I'm gonna use a test file like one.txt this is my text file sample text file remote path I'm gonna give it root I uh, just want this thing to upload it to root I don't wanna give name I mean you can give name as well like to file.txt something if you don't give it it will simply pick the file name I mean if I do just give the root it will take root slash one.txt so no problem there and an allocation uh, so you see upload bingo let's do it Oh, oh, that was fast. Well, my file was not that big. It's a TXT file, so it got uploaded pretty fast. If I do the list again, you see, uh, file is there. Now I have my file, type file, name, path, you see, file one.txt, size, number of blocks, everything. And there are lots of commands to get statistics, metadata of the file and everything. You can check them out. This is a simple upload. And now, of, of, of course I have uploaded the file so I have to I mean the second main thing is download so 
but you can't simply download I mean remember when I logged some tokens while creating the allocation I this yes this lock one similarly this token went to write pool so obviously to read the data download is read exactly so to read the data we have to do the read pool stuff so if we let's check out our read pool RP read pool info so if we do RP info we see that there is mm -hmm, no tokens locked so if we do download right now it will simply give us an error hey you don't have any tokens we don't have read pool read pool token so you can't read so let's do one thing do RP lock help okay it says allocation blubber duration fee help token uh, some of them are required some of them are not mm, eh, there it's all mentioned there so let's see I know what are required so RP lock first of all it requires a duration so let me give 720 hours which is the same as my allocation size allocation expire time and then the tokens uh, again let's we gave one to write so let's give one to read and hello okay, obviously this token amount you can vary as per your preference allocation that's it I guess let's do it pull lock duration tokens allocation perfect so yeah locked bingo and if we do our pin for again yep we have a read pool and it's logged and the values are split among all the four blobbers which we chose and yeah it expires 89 so yeah it's, it should work fine there. let's do download now and for that we have to use the remote path which is 1.txt you guys remember yeah yes this is your path remote path and obviously we have to give local path where we want to download I can't simply download it to desktop again because the file already exists there so it will give me that error that the file exists so I'm gonna download in another folder alloc and use my allocation again if I do this boom come on download the file yep download it and just to make sure you guys can see this so desktop so this is where my file was earlier I mean I use this you use this file if you go to alloc you see one.txt here this is just downloaded right now so that's it this is the upload download and what else uh, yeah you can well, there are lots of options upload download you can use rename you can use copy and yeah, so you can you always use list to see the details and if you see the list and we can do delete let me delete remote path bingo and simply allocation that's it path and allocation allocation is like you know the key I mean that's your that's your space so you have to use allocation almost in every command so delete yep delete it list file is not there anymore yep not there Bingo. it's deleted gone so yeah uh, similarly as I explained these are the read pool commands you know read pool lock info unlock create we can unlock as soon as the lock I mean the pool gets expired similarly for write pool as well let's say our write pool gets expired or doesn't have enough tokens we can add more let's like you know we can do write pool info just like this and always use help command to get more details but yeah there is rename as I just show you the delete similarly you can use copy rename and list list all and everything thanks guys and that will be all we will be creating more videos if required thank you